guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys, I have a YouTube channel and this is my second video and I'm so, so excited about the whole thing. Today, we're gonna talk about beauty from within and I wanna share with you a book that I just read. It's called, ba -da -ba. I don't know what that was. It's called, It's Not What You Think by Jamie Ivey. Now, if you don't already know Jamie Ivey, let me tell you. She has a podcast called The Happy Hour. It comes out once a week on Wednesdays. And Jamie invites women who are really doing the thing in life. Like they're succeeding in whatever field they're in. And it's so encouraging and uplifting and inspiring. And it's a lot of girl power, which, you know, I super love that. Girl power. Um, I feel like Jamie really loves Jesus and that is apparent in every single podcast. Like Jamie's someone that I feel like the love of Jesus really pours out of her and I love that about her. Okay, so the book just came out um, last week and I pre-ordered it so my copy got here last week but I actually ended up listening to it on Audible because I was cleaning out closets this weekend and that just really worked for me. Um, and it was really good on Audible. Jamie is a great storyteller. Makes sense because she has a podcast. So I would recommend listening to it. This story is called If You Only Knew. And it's about struggling with shame and struggling with parts of your life that you feel like um, you want to hide because you feel like if people only knew that about you, they would think less of you. They would not like you. They would judge you. Whatever. Um, and I feel like I could talk about this book for literally, I could go on and on about it. I mean, in general, I feel like I can go on and on about pretty much anything. I just am someone who has a lot of words inside me. Um, if for any reason, any of my past teachers are watching this, they're like, oh yeah, girl, I see you haven't outgrown it. Okay. Um, but for the sake of keeping this video short, because I don't know, you have a life to live. <laughs> Let me tell you my top three takeaways from this book. Number one, um, again, the book is about struggling with shame. Um, and so number one would be, do not let shame rule your life. I love Jamie's perspective on this. We all have things that we have either struggled with in the past or are currently struggling with that by default, we really want to hide in a corner and not let anyone know about them. But when we, when we're doing that, we're really stunting our our growth as people and as Christians. And also, we are not allowing God to work through us because you guys, God works through broken people all the time. The Bible's full of Bible stories. The Bible is full of Bible stories. <laughs> The Bible is full of stories of God working through broken people. And so I think a lot of times, for whatever reason, we've been conditioned to want to hide our struggles, but really God could really, really be glorified in our struggles. Step one is to deal with it and to give it to God and to let him heal you and redeem you. And he can and he will through the story of him redeeming you and healing you from whatever the situation, whatever the struggle, um, helping you cope with it, helping you rise above it, through that story, he can really, really be glorified. He can really use your story to minister to other people. And as Christ followers, that's what it's all about, man. The second thing I took away from this book is that we have to be really careful to not shame other people about their struggles. Jamie says in the book, one of the main reasons she felt so much shame and didn't feel like she could talk about her struggle was that she felt like people would judge her really harshly on the sins in her life. Okay, here's the deal, you guys. We are all sinners, so there's that. But sometimes our sins become on display. And when that happens, it's really easy for other people to have an opinion or let's just be frank to judge you. And as Christ followers, as Christians, is it really the right thing to meet someone's struggle with judgment and condemnation? Probably not. Probably the best thing we can do is meet them with grace and forgiveness and hope through Jesus, help offer healing, right? We've got to stop the shame. 
we got to stop shaming people. We got to start allowing people space to open up and tell us what they're struggling with so that they can find healing and redemption, you know? This is something I really connected to because I have had my sin put on display for all to see. I was a teenage mom. I had a kid when I was 16. You can't hide that. That happened. Everybody had an opinion and it was really hard. And I did feel some shame about it for some time until I decided I was done letting other people put their shame on me and that I was going to live my life and that I was just going to own where I was at in life and not try to hide it and, and not let my mistakes keep me away from Jesus or all the good things that he had in store for me. And I can tell you that in owning that, in talking about my struggle, in talking about the parts that were really hard about teenage pregnancy, I've been able to encourage a lot of people, and not just about teen pregnancy, but about how God can really redeem any situation. And the third thing I took away is that we really were created to do life together. Jamie talks in the book about this moment that she had where she shared with a friend um, the struggle that she was going through and talked to her about the shame that she felt. And that was the first time she had said the hard thing out loud to anyone. And it was so freeing and it began the healing process. And I just thought that was such a good reminder of why it's important to do life with people. The Bible is full of examples of friendships and, and why we need people to do life with and how it enhances who we are as Christians and as people. David and Jonathan, you have Moses and Aaron, you have Paul and Titus, you have Mary and Elizabeth. There are all sorts of examples of how God gives us people to help us get through the journey of life and it's just important. All right, so I hope we didn't go too deep too fast, but that's my thoughts on the book. It was a really good book. You should really grab it. Thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I think the thumbs up does something. I'm not really sure, and y'all know I love a comment, so do that too. I'll see you Friday for a beauty video. Ho -ho. <laughs> what did I say? Ho -ho. I don't know, but I'm really excited. We're going to talk about Target. Okay. Okay. See you later, guys. Bye.